Hello, welcome to my channel. I'll be unboxing with you an order I put through Jet Pens. Jet Pens is a company. Um, oh, Jet Pens is a company that sells like notebooks, pens, washi, washi tapes, um, all things, notebook, planner, accessories, and whatnot. Not just fountain pens, all sorts of pens. But ta da! So, what did I get? I got three different types of inks that I'll be swatching with you and uh, a pen, a fountain pen. So let's see. So they're all packaged like this and let's go ahead and do the pen first. Um, during, I was told brass pens are micro, antimicrobial, I don't know how to say the word, antimicrobial. So I got myself a brass pen because I everywhere I go whether it's doctors offices different places uh, when I'm picking around my family always tells me to sign things and I'm not a fan of using the hospital pens or that office pen so I bought myself here a Kuwaiko. Um and it's a lily put and a mini lily put let me see license to write so it comes in a tin like this so cute, so cute, so cute. So let's take a look at this pen. <gasps> cute. It's so tiny. It's a lot smaller than I expected. And I did buy an extra clip for it. This clip does not come with it, but I figured this will be rolling around. So if you look closely, there is like a, a Koeko mark here on the tip. How do you open this? So you screw it open. And I got an extra fine nib because I like writing small. And it is teeny tiny. Um, I mean, you can write with it. I don't have big hands, so you could write with it unposted. But me, I like posting my pens. And here it goes. Yes, I like this a lot. In fact, yeah, this is, uh, I'll see how smoothly it writes. And if it writes pretty smoothly, um, this is likely going to be a gift item to a lot of my friends this year. <laughs> Antimicrobial pen that they could keep in their purse or something. So they don't have to use so many different. And then it comes in with the ink cartridge already. I already have Koeko uh, cartridges and a converter as well. I'm likely going to use my converter instead and put, um, put a pen an ink in here that I like using instead of this one right now. Let's see. Let's see how this. Hmm, I was told this sometimes could scratch your pen. But let's see. Oh, so there is a logo on top. Is it hard to see? Why isn't it focusing? So there is a Koweko. K-A-W-E Koweko uh, logo. Focus, focus. This lighting really not be very, that good. Uh, for this but this here I don't want it rolling around so I bought it and it's a bit tight but I would have to put it on let me put it on this way oh so let me open this a little bit <laughs> what's going on here it's for the same pen right yes And the logo Koeko on the side, it's um, ingrained in, so it's not like it's paint that's going to be taken off. So that way, it's not going to roll around. Oh, see? See how it rolled? But that little thing stopped it. So I think if you get this pen, this little clip is a must. Otherwise, it'll be like, bye-bye, pen. It's rolling off <laughs> wherever you put it down. So that's what I got. This is super cute. Yeah. I mean... I know some people um, don't have the patience for fountain pens. They just want to click and go. But, I mean, me, I like my fountain pens. This is a really cute pocket pen. Super cute. So, yep, that's one of my purchases. I will be inking it up. And um, super, super cute. Oh, my gosh. So, now what is this? I got um, some inks from jet pens as well so i will open this and they packaged it pretty well so 
if you're getting inks through jet pens, they make sure at least that there's nothing that's going to be broken. It's bubble wrapped and boxed and boxed again. So there were two boxes I had to take it out of original. <laughs> so, okay. All right. So this is the purple pizzazz. It's a shimmering fountain pen ink from Diamine. That's my first one that I bought. I have some pen, uh, fountain pen inks, uh, but I don't have shimmering ones because I was told shimmering ones could damage your fountain pen, and I don't want to do that. But these particular were given good reviews that it doesn't really, um, this is another company, Diamine, got the Coco Shimmer ink. I was told these ones are pen, fountain pen friendly. So these are the ones I got. I love purple. I love me my browns. Um, and right here is the, I don't even know how to say it, but it's made in France. It's uh, by this company, Jacques Urban. And yes, their, their company was made since 1670. So they've been making inks since 1670. So let's go ahead and save that for last. But I will be swatching these with you. So let me grab my trusty swatching notebook and my glass pen i will uh oh i should probably should have brought water and whatnot so let's get started let's do the purple pizzazz first what about that purple pizzazz let's open this here comes in like this a little explanation of the ink so off the bat, it is a gold cap, and it has a little sticker to let you know what kind of ink it is. And uh, you can see a slight shimmer, like you can see uh, on camera. I don't know if it's catching, but there's you can see this gold specks in there. And there's this little thing: shake well before use. For best result, use a wet or broad nib pen. So I don't have any broad nib pens. Uh oh, so that means I probably need to buy. Oh, actually, I take that back. I believe I've been gifted for Christmas uh, a broad nib fountain pen. So I'll just wait till tomorrow, uh, Christmas Day, to open that and use these inks in that. It says shake well. So I wonder if you're supposed to like shake it like crazy or if this here is enough. I don't want to bubble it or have it burst on me. I'm sure it's not like carbonated, so it's not going to. I'm not going to have a fountain explosion here, hopefully. So I'm going to just... Available in wide range of colors with magical properties. Once dry on the paper, they reveal their special features. Yay. Pearlescent effect has a light catching twinkle in either gold or silver, taking high to a new level of sophistication. Okay, so we'll see. I was told the shimmer inks, they take a while to dry. Um, so let's give it a go and test it out. So here's our first one. This is the purple pizzazz. I'll put this over here. And let's see. Let's give you a test. In the properties, you get a page right under the pilot ink. Hiroshiku. All right, here we go. I always get nervous during this time. I like it when an ink bottle isn't like, so I have Ferris wheel inks as well. They're beautiful bottles, but every time I open them, I get nervous because it's made in a way you could just like flip it or flop it over, um, even by a little slight shake. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm not sure if a glass nib is going to catch all those glitters, but we'll see. So this here is... A diamine, diamine, diamine purple pizzazz. Uh, purple pizzazz. So off the bat, I don't hear. Maybe I'll focus in a little bit more. Off the bat, I don't see the glitters, but I wonder if it's because I didn't shake it well enough. Huh? Let's do a swatch of a block to see if I can see those properties in here. It did say that if it dries, I could see the glitter in the ink when I do this, but I wonder if it, um, like in the bottle, I could see the little specks. I can't see it on paper right now. And I am using um, Piper Penguin Coast Tomoe River paper. 
So yes, when I didn't know anything about paper, I was I was saying Stology paper was Tomoe, which is not true. But this here is actual Tomoe River paper um, order from Pe Paper Penguin Co. Uh, paper Penguin Co. Let me say that right. So uh, do I see any glitter properties? Not quite yet. Do you see any glitter properties? I don't see any quite yet. Hmm, I do see it in the ink though. So this is Diamond Purple Pizzazz Shimmering Fountain Pen. So uh, Shimmering Fountain Pen. Fountain Pen Ink. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. So um, some parts of this is drying. And do you see that? A little bit of glitter. Oh, I don't know if you see it. Oh, my goodness. In my penmanship, please. It's not... I'm not at all good premiership, but I do <laughs> enjoy writing and um, enjoy stuff like this. But hmm, so this is the 50 milliliters. So I'm gonna say 50 milliliters, and uh, let's go ahead and see. Oh, I need a little bit more ink. Let's dip that there. Um, I don't know. I don't see. Huh. Do you see any glitter? You can kind of see it right there. Do you see how it's, when it's drying, that N, there's a little shimmer? Oh, so it's very subtle. Oh, interesting. So when it's wet, you would not know. But when it's actually drying up, I could totally see it. I could totally see it. Um, I don't know if it's catching it on camera, but do you see how right here, D-I-A-M, it's starting to change kind of like a goldish color. And then if I move my paper, do you see that? Yep, little specks. So that's pretty. Um, I could see, uh, I don't know. It's pretty, but it doesn't look purple anymore. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's just uh, too condensed. Okay. So that's that diamine purple pizzazz. Uh, once the, let me try to, yeah. So once it gets kind of thinned out, then there's the purple, almost like a grape juice purple. So compared to the Edo Shiku, it's a little bit lighter purple, lavenderous almost. This is like, um, like you just smashed some Concord black um, red grapes and the residue you get, it's like that compared to this. Yeah, oh, well, okay, so there goes one, one test. What do you think, folks? On a uh, line, it made it look like the shimmery was much more um, noticeable. And I will say that once it dries, so because right here, it's not dried and right here, it's not dried, but do you see how this part, I couldn't notice it when I was writing it, but once dry, you definitely see that gold specks. Okay, so moving on to the next. So the next uh, ink that we will try out is the Coco Shimmer. Coco Shimmer by Diamine. So let's give this a go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Again, as the same boxing. Oh, I could totally see. Do you see the gold? The gold, gold. So let's go ahead and shake this. I don't know. So the first one says we didn't shake it, shake it. Let's do this one like this <laughs> and see if it spills over. Hopefully not. Okay, so I could see the bubbling. See, I didn't want it to bubble, but I guess it's okay because I'm. I'm using a glass mem, so let's give that an open. Yep, and it's fine. It's not spilling out on me. And then I'm gonna zoom in for our writing sample. So let's go ahead and give it a dip. See how this one is gonna be. And this here. All right, we focus in a little bit more. This is the diamine, uh, what is this? Cocoa Shimmer. Cocoa Shimmer. 
I don't see necessarily shimmer yet. And it is a shimmering fountain. And ink. And let's go ahead. And this is also a 50 milliliter that I got. Hmm. Do you see the shimmer? It might just be like the purple pizzazz, and maybe the shimmer doesn't come up until it dries up, which is nice too. So let me go ahead and. Um, Dip. And let's see, let's make a little pour here as well. Let's see how this is. Oh, I see the specs. Wow, this is going on really wet because of my gloss nib. I wonder how long it's going to take to dry as it's going down pretty wet. Okay, and I'm gonna take a Q-tip. Mm, I'll just take some of this. Okay. Yep. So it dries. Oh, so pretty. So do you see how when, once it starts drying, it has that shimmer, the gold shimmer. Oh, I like this. So between the diamond purple pizzazz and diamond cocoa shimmer. I prefer the Diamond Cocoa Shimmer. That's really unique and pretty. If I were to write a, um, a note or whatnot to a friend of mine in a card or a letter, it's not pretty. Um, it's more... Okay, so I love that. Okay. Uh, they're both... Here we go. Where? What company is Diamond made in? Let's take a look. It's made in the UK, United Kingdom. So this one's made in, it says UK. Okay, so that's that. So those are the two diamines that we got going here. Oops. Let me see, yeah. It's pretty, it's really pretty. I am a fan of the Cocoa Shimmer. I like purple anyways, but I mean, but this purple, or maybe I should do a Q-tip test on the purple too, because I did it with my fingers, but let's take a look at what it really looks like when it's just by a Q-tip. Let's see. It's like that kind of color. Yeah, it's more of a darker, darker purple compared to, so if those folks that had the Iroshiku, uh, Murasaki Shikubu inks. This is more lavender and like soft looking powdery. This is more like um, wet and dark. It does have that shimmer, or like a golden shimmer. And then there's a diamine cocoa shimmering ink. That's pretty. All right, so those are that. They're both made in the UK, diamine. Alright, so that's that. So let's go ahead and open up our Jacques, Jacques Herbin. <laughs> I don't even know how to, I don't speak French. I don't speak French, so. Uh, for this one 1670 wow right a company that is open since then this is also 50 milliliters it's made in france i don't know what that says on the back because it's in french and there is a little sticker that you have to open oh i get to put open at the bottom yes because i don't want i don't want to tear the sticker so i'll also find the bottom buttons cute nice look at that is that cute i mean it's like Oh, wow. So look at that. It has a little wax 1670 printed on here. And a wax top. So pretty. The bottle alone is really pretty. Like you have this on your desk and it's like you feel it's all pretty. It has a gold little ribbon. 
this too. It's supposed to have some uh, red components in it. Does it say to shake? Oh, if it says instructions in French, France, but French though, I'm not gonna be able to read it, but let's take a look. Okay, good. So there is some English, yay. Established in Paris, 1670, when King Louis, oh, the 14th, was 32 years old. Urban started selling and sealing wax fine stationery inks in Port de Importing Sherlock from India. That's super cool. So it gives you a little history of this ink and how 1798 Jacques Urban, the fourth generation of fast started production of the finest quality ink. So technically, even though they're doing this from a long time ago, the fourth Jacques made it into production at 1798. I think that's super cool. The, these include expanded innovation, introduced, trademark, registered. So there's some on here inks. Used for schools in the French Third Republic. Oh my gosh, Encre Violet. I have, I already have a lot of violets, but maybe I'll get some of the ones that's on here. Okay, well, I'll take a look at your other inks. That marking piece worked on me. <laughs> I'm probably going to look at that, but let's go ahead and get to the product and open this up. Okay, so I'm going to open. Yep, it's a twist. And ta -da. isn't that pretty? So pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So let me get give you guys a closer up. Oh, you don't need to see the actual bottle, but here we go. Okay, and my pen. Let's go in there and dip it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm excited. Okay. So let me get the spelling right. Jacques Urban. Okay. This is the, oh, oh, I should have, here we go. I'm going to push you out of the way. This is the Jacques, wait, yep, Jacques, Jacques is urban. And it is in the color, I'm not going to even see it. I think it's Emerald, Emerald Day. One of my friends speaks French, so you could always help me out later. How do you pronounce this? The Chivalre. Uh, there's more stuff on there, but I cannot see. It's the La, La Ancres? What is this? La Ancres. All right, La Ancres 26, oh, 1670. I don't see the red properties yet, but we'll take a look. Illuminate. So this is like a, a certain type of Illuminati. It's Illuminati. Illuminati. No. Illuminis. Illumin. E. It says. Oh, it's in French. Okay, so I'm not going to spend time on that. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness, I could see it. So as it's drying, it's going to give you a red... Oh my goodness, so pretty. Made in France. Oh my goodness, so let me go ahead and give you a bar of your own. So it's like a teal, like turquoise color, but when it dries, oh my gosh, I see the red. Oh yeah, so one of my uh, viewers says, can you please not say, oh my gosh, because like it sounds like I'm using like religious, you know, folks. And so I, I do apologize because <coughs> I guess it's, it's like I'm using God's name in vain and I, I apologize for that. It's a habit of saying, oh my goodness, in a shorter version of gosh, but I just tried to be better at that saying, oh my. <laughs> keep it at oh my I don't want to offend anybody that's not I just want to share my inks let me see here but yeah if 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 you're a viewer subscriber and you always see me saying stuff like that I, I do apologize I thank you for your patience by the way oh I don't know what is it about inks it makes me like quiet it makes me become like okay We'll see how that dries. We'll see the properties. 
Oh, it's so pretty. This is so pretty. Yeah, if anybody is, uh, I'm a beginner. I don't, I started this journey, <laughs> a planners and inks and I'm a, it's a COVID thing. Like, I, how about you folks? I, I never was interested. Well, not, I can't say that. I always loved, appreciate stationery and pens and stuff, but to this level, I would have known, but it's, it's COVID is what COVID did to me. You get bored and then you're like, Hmm, I always loved colors. So uh, before COVID, it was always kind of like a, you know, I, I put it into like makeup, like art of the, like putting art on the face kind of thing. I love palettes in general, but now it's like on planners and papers and thoughts and whatnot. So it's so pretty. This is so pretty. Oh my so you could kind of already see hints of red in there. Um, oh my goodness. And the shimmers. Oh, yay. It's coming alive. It's coming alive. Oh. See, I'm not sure if it catches on uh, video, but there's like shimmer, shimmer. I'll, I'll, I'll um, share more in just a moment. Um, so let me go ahead and dip that fountain at my glass nib in the water to clean it out. And this is exciting. It's so pretty. <gasps> oh my goodness, so pretty. Okay, let me, oh, let me go ahead and cap. Bye bye. Until next time. This is so pretty. I have to decide what pen I'm gonna designate. Do I need to designate a pen to this? Because I don't want to ruin my other. I don't have really expensive pens. I don't have a gold pen, fountain pen yet. Yet, I say, because I am interested. But there's just so many out there. And I don't know what to. But this one is, this, they recommend, you know, bigger nibs. So I'll try it out with my um, Christmas gift I got from a family of mine. Gifted me a calligraphy broad nib pen. So I'm really excited about that. So do you see that? Oh, do you see that shimmer? So it has, so this a uh, Jacques Urban Emerald de Chivor. <laughs> Sorry, pardon me. Um, it, you know, when there's a lot in it and it dries on a regular, like a thin layer, it has like a red property. So I'm not sure if it's catching, but there it's like turquoise and red. And it's so unique. It is so unique. So this area right now is drying up, but you can see some tints of red in there. And unlike this one, when you, you know, because this one has more red and it has specks of gold. But this here, you can see the red hues in the back and then the gold specks. So pretty. It's so pretty. <sighs> this one's a winner. So I can see why this has the most reviews and... Um, a lot of fans of this because it's just so unique um the only thing is like you don't i don't think you could really have control of whether it's going to go gold on you or red on you but that's the beauty of it all so this is this will be a fun ink to write in to friends you know right or <laughs> um i know in this day and age like who writes on paper and who sends letters and when there's digital and everything I do. I think there's beauty in hand, hand. Not that my my penmanship needs work, but some people, man, their penmanship is art, and I just find like there's beauty in um, sending a handwritten letter, right? I and I'm old school. I'm not, you know, I'm not young. Uh, well, and so uh, I am a a person that appreciates handwritten letters and whatnot. But yeah, so that's it. So these are the three. Um, inks that I got so Diamond Purple Pizzazz which has you know um the gold specs properties that's more visible actually in the pen itself than the swatches of blops you could kind of see it there do you see that right there yeah do you see the specs here um and there's little glitters it's tiny tiny specks of glitters you can maybe subtly catch and i'm interested to know if like once it dries does it just like fall off the glitter or does it stay in the ink right and then this diamine cocoa shimmer this is pretty cool i um this is really pretty I, so I i i will enjoy writing in this and this is just unique if you needed any well this is not fair because only by bought three but uh i i would say jacques the winner like if it, if you were to ask me what's your favorite out of those that you bought it would be jacques urban emerald de chavor i mean it's just so unique and pretty 
the way it dries, the way it writes, and you're just up for a surprise. Yep, that rhymed. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. This is a winner. Oh my gosh, if you like fountain pen inks and you want to give a your beginner like me, I think this is worth the investment. If anything, this one right here. All right, thank you for joining me. Everybody have a happy holidays. And until next time, bye-bye.